that was interesting wasn't it did you see the deer they were quite away from the camera so i don't know if it made them out and i'm back i'm back from sunny tenerife and talk about back with the bang because it's bloody freezing today helen's had to go to work i'm on my own so i thought i'd do a little trip and i've got me i've got my flat cap on out of respect for a legend who I've come to see but I don't know if I can find him obviously he's passed away uh, but I've come to find his his grave I'm in Bolton so I have this bit of a thing where I just love watching Fred Dibner videos I think they're brilliant I watch them all the time and I was watching one yesterday and I thought I know I'll go to Bolton have a look round uh, I don't think I've ever been to Bolton Town. I might have when I was younger. So I thought while I'm here I can pay more respects to the local legend Fred Dibner. I'm going to try and find his headstone but it's quite a big graveyard. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it to be honest. It's going to be a re reasonably modern one I should imagine. I think I found it, you know. I think I've been really lucky. Unless my eyes, yeah. I thought my eyes might have been deceiving me. There we have it. So just put tools there, look. There's a flat cap. So Fred Dibner, remember, 1938 to 2004. A much loved steeple jack. If you look at the bottom there, there's a little spanner that's been etched into the stone. So there he is, lad, bless him. Now apparently, the people of Bolton are some of the friendliest people in the UK. Second only to those from Barnsley. <laughs> I'm only kidding. They are. I read something online, they're the friendliest people in the UK. And, and Fred, he was just like that. There was something about him that you'd feel that, you could watch him and you'd feel like you've known him for years. Just a completely normal guy. Family man, grafter, hard worker. Uh, if you don't, I mean, you must know who he is, but if you don't, he's, he was a, a famous steeplejack. So I think he was in the 70s. He would, Bolton's a very industrial town, and he would take uh, chimneys down in places where they couldn't demolish them because they were in built up areas, and he'd take them down by hand. It'd probably take him a year to take some of these chimneys down. And just climb up these chimneys, these huge chimneys, and and take them down by hand, or or sometimes he'd demolish them by setting fires underneath. Really interesting to watch. And he also had a, a passion for like engineering and steam engines and things like that. I think he didn't live too far from here, so his house was lovely. I'll I'll go and have a look at that as well. And then we'll head into Bolton. It's not a video about Fred Dibner, this. It's about Bolton. But I just thought it had a little bit. Who's other famous people from Bolton? Originally, I thought Peter Kay, but he's not actually from Bolton, is he? He's from, I can't remember, somewhere Farnworth, is it? Or something like that. Uh, Mark Radcliffe, all the radio DJs are from here. Mark Radcliffe. Sarah Cox, Vernon Kay. So, they're ones I know, not ones I can remember. What's it like as a town? I've no idea. We're just gonna have a wander around. It's gonna be one of them lazy videos where we just walk around together, have a look at what's going on, and uh, maybe go for a pint, get something to eat. Have it on a 
busy busy main road but what a beautiful a beautiful property right next one donald mm. What happened is it sold recently in 2021. It sold for uh, £265,000. It's a Grade 2 listed building. See, they've put CCTV up there. Got idiots there. Hell up. Can you see that? Home of the late Fred Dimner and the Steeplejack. Steam enthusiast. Raconteur, television celebrity. The Reverend Son of Bolton. Let's see if we can see that there. Said his own there. Uh, with somebody in that car. Got to be a bit careful filming. Interesting. Lovely building, it's quite narrow. I understand he bought it cheap because it needed lots of work doing to it. The, the wall at the back was bulging, so he uh, he repaired it himself, I think. It's a very bright day today, it's making it difficult to film. I've just got back in van and I've uh, looked his house up online and I found the listing from when it was sold in 2021 and there's still some photographs of the interior in the backyard so I'll put them on the screen now for you to have a quick look at. there just for people who might be interested so we're going to head into Bolton now uh, we're going to have a look round no preconceptions or anything I have no idea what to expect at all we'll have a walk around the town we'll look at some of the shops the pubs and stuff like that and we'll just see what's going on and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it it's nice to be back in England in the crispy cold weather <laughs> Trying to get parked in Bolton, absolute nightmare. Traffic everywhere. I think they're talking about introducing a, a congestion charge. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what will be a lot more effective. And that's if you sort your infrastructure out. Because there's just traffic sat there for hours, just stuck there, buses and vans and everything. They need to sort that out. There just seems to be uh, Roadworks and digging up places everywhere I go. First street I've come on. There's a little cafe there. Not much happening. Apparently, the marketplace there, so we're going to have a look in here. It's not a marketplace, that is it. Let's go and have a look. It's quite an interesting building, really. I love how they have pictures of how it used to look. It's like, look what it used to look like when it were good, before it got took over by mass consumerism. See, flannels is closing down. Probably because nobody can afford £500 for a T-shirt. There's even empty shops in here, look, there's a few there.
it's quite a nice environment but it's a bit soulless so there's a lot of this uh, ironworks which harks back to its industrial past this will obviously have been an old mill that's been converted films that have no interest to me whatsoever I love that smell the popcorn smell and the nachos and restaurants down here Nando's but we'll avoid that Thank you mate. Night, Have you. a good day. Oh, you too, okay. Thank you. Really quiet. Really quiet. It's a shame that all these town centres are like this now. And more and more shops move out of the town. There is a pub in Bolton which is in the top ten oldest pubs in uh, Britain and we'll try and find that and tell you a little bit a little story about it I'll not go on too much though don't worry there's a bit of an old town thing vibe here So I've got a pasty, so much for healthy eating. They're famous pasties, it's right warm in my hand as well. But they've got rum truffles, you don't see rum truffles anymore, do you? So I had to have one of them as well. Now this pub here is one of the oldest pubs in Britain and it's the oldest pub in Bolton. And I'm going to go in and have a pint and see if they let me eat my pasty. See what they say. So that's the ye old man and scythe, and scythe. I'm just looking at, I wrote something down because that pub dates back to 1251. There's records of it in some old document or something. But then obviously it was rebuilt in 1636. And then in 1651, 
the Earl of, can you see it in background? The Earl of Derby was executed outside and there's a chair inside where he sat don't know if he had a pint and a pasty before he was executed he was executed because of the uh, his part in the Bolton massacre and what happened in the Bolton massacre is uh, it was during the English Civil War most of the people in Bolton was uh, par parliamentary supporters and it was the parliamentary Aryans can't speak against the royalist and uh, they kept putting up a good fight against the royalists but he come back with about 12,000 troops and he massacred uh, about 1500 people from Bolton so he was uh, executed outside that very pub that's interesting fire isn't it that I mean look how deserted this town is just for a minute Look at that architecture there and look how run down it is. And then above there, look at that old building with all the weeds growing. See, I've learned when you go in towns to always look up because shop fronts are normally bland and boring, but you get an idea of what the town was like. I mean, look at that. Oh, and it says Yates Brothers. So I want, that's weird, and it is Yates. That's interesting, that'll have been probably a, a modern addition, that little bit. Look at this, God, this is depressing. This is Primark. I really hope we can salvage something from Bolton but you know you're watching it as I'm seeing it for the first time lots of old like mills and buildings that reminds me a, li a little bit like some of the streets in Hull but the thing with Hull they, a lot of them have been re uh, regenerated and stuff this is deserted church A busy cafe, but look at state of it. Look at state of buildings. So we'll just sit here for a minute and have a look at how many people there is. Bolton Market. Is it even open? How do you get in? Welcome to the Northwest's finest food market. Let's have a look. Well, the smell. Helen would love it. Gosh, they've even got pheasant. Look at that. Wow. Oh, 
Oysters, pound each. Why you looking at my arms when you said that? Next well. A lot of fish. Look at them prawns and crabs. Well. All sorts of creatures. It's a bit minging, isn't it? But when it's not presented. Wow. What is that? We've got all organs and everything on it. Look at that meat there. And then with fruit and veg and everything. Sweets. <laughs> She's already took out the box, so I can't give her the option anymore. It's an interesting stall here. Cheeses, pastries. singing is that like a bar this is interesting licensed coffee, <laughs> coffee bar look at that bar fantastic I'm not going in there though so that was interesting I liked it in there and I'll tell you who would love it in there Helen should be in her element we'll be coming out with bags of sea creatures <laughs> she loves seafood but some right stuff it was a bit like being abroad you know one of these you know we all different cultures and everything there's a bit outside as well just your regular stuff So we're back in this main bit where I was earlier. I sat up there and I took the time lapse. This is obviously the main street. I mean, some of you might say I'm wrong, but let's have a look at the shops. Cast generator. 
Holland and Barrett. Sweets. Is that a vaping shop as well? Is that sweets and vaping? Shit, it is. That's just wrong, isn't it? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Sort machine, so we've got gambling, charity shop, more gambling, mobility, more gambling. Then we've got beauty, cosmetics, salon. Don't know what that is that's shut. Subway and the home bargains. We've got more gambling there. We've got a pound shop. Mobile phone shop. Super bargains. Shut. Kebab. Kebab shop. If I'm if I'm on the top bar. I hate Bloody hell. Bernardo's, shop. Mobile phone and vape. Shoe shop. I don't know why I'm telling them all. You can read them, can't you? Another buy and sell shop. Poor blokey type thing. But then look here, we've got the town hall, which is rather a splendid building. Oh, and on the right there, pound, pound land. I would assume that's the main drag. I mean, oh God. It reminds me of Rotherham. Look at the building here, beautiful. Beautiful town hall. It's quarter to three on a Thursday. So it's better down this end. It's a little bit more upmarket. Some old buildings, town hall and some old buildings behind there. A bit nicer down this end. Still boarded up shops. So just down here you've got your statue for Fred Dibner. And probably one of his, one of his original steam engines. I don't know if it was one of his. But I've just read the things. I don't know if you can see that. It's not a Fred Dibner engine, but a lot of steam engines were made in Bolton. And this one was made by a Bolton company and it was donated. You'll not be able to read that, I don't think. But fantastic, what a better machinery that is. Shame there's the glass, obviously they need to put it there, but the reflection is it's difficult to see. And here he is, the man himself. Let's have a look. That's old Fred. Fred Dibner. More cash converters down there, more amusements, town shops, mobile phone shops everywhere. Look, even pound stretchers boarded up, look. So there it is. We're back where we started.
Oh. Right. Well, I always try to be positive, but there's no sugar coating that, is there really? And what can I say? What can I say about Bolton? From the moment I got there, it took me forever to find somewhere to get parked. There were roadworks absolutely everywhere. I did eventually find somewhere. Then I went in that shopping thing where there were the cinema. It was all right. It was, it was a bit meh, really. There were not really much going on. It was deserted. There were empty shops. Soulless. And then the town centre itself. It, it, let's be honest, it was a dump. It's a complete dump. I mean, <clears throat> the market were all right, that were interesting. And there was some nice, a little bit, I mean, the town hall, lovely town hall, a little bit of architecture around that area, but everywhere else, I, it's a bit depressed. I'm depressed, I'm actually depressed. You know, why do people have to live like that? Why do, why, it's not fair, is it? You know, when you go to all these lovely towns. I'll tell you how I judge a place. I always think, would I come back here with Ellen? Would we come for a night, have a day here, do some shopping, whatever, stay and go for a meal and have a few drinks? Not a chance on earth I'd go back to Bolton. That pub were all right, and the pasty were lovely. But it was just soulless, a complete dump of a town. And I'm sorry, People from Bolton are lovely. They're some of the friendliest people in, in UK. Absolutely fantastic. And there's lots, lots of history and stuff like that. But told Fred Dibner he'd be turning in his grave, bless him. I wonder what he'd think if he'd come back and saw the town as it is today. I don't think he'd... Well, he wouldn't go, would he? It's cheap shops. It's, it's like most of these northern industrial towns. Gambling dens cheap shops vape shops there were a vape shop in a sweet shop and all bright colors and sweets for kids and vapes what's all that about how, how are they allowed to get away with that it's just wrong so i'm sorry i'm sorry if i've upset people saying that but i can't you can't watch that video and tell me it's really funny look there i'm that way out now i'm a bit i'm depressed i'm a bit down you can't watch that video and say and say Bolton look nice, can you? Anyways, what do you think of that video? Do you want me to do more like Northern Industrial? I'm not doing one next. I need to go somewhere really nice to sort of decontaminate myself from that. I need to. I need a pick me up. I need to go somewhere like Ripon again, or Nairsborough. I need to go to a nice place like that. Uh, but do you think I should do a series of like Northern Industrial Towns and we'll compare them? There's got to be some nice ones, aren't there? I'm sure there's some nice ones. It's not that it's not right close to Manchester. It's not like all the people are going into Manchester to the shopping. I'm sure some will. But it's quite a journey to Manchester from Bolton. It's not easy. Anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? There you have it. My verdict on Bolton. I feel sad. And I'm upset that we live in a a country where there's such inequality from certain places to other places. And it's like, you know, like people in London and that, they've never been out of London. They don't know what it's like up north. There's some wonderful places. North Yorkshire and stuff like that and Lake District, of course, wonderful places. But towns like that they don't even know they exist you go to london it's like a different country it's a different world compared to that i'd hate to live in bolton but no that's wrong i won't hate to live in bolton because it's the people that make a place isn't it but the town center how come you've got say barnsley town center a northern town smaller than bolton as well a smaller population and they do it so right. How can they do it so right? And then places like Bolton do it so wrong. What is the difference? Is it the council? Let me know in the comments. Let me know where you'd like to go. Give me, you know, you can email me and stuff like that with suggestions for videos. Anyway, I'm a bit depressed. I'm feeling down. So I've come to somewhere, which is not even in Bolton. It's just right corner. 
in Farnworth. And I don't know why I come, because I just thought I'd have a look at it, but it's just to cheer me up a little bit. So I'm going to show you. It's one of my favourite places on a TV programme. Eh, what do you think to that then? Do you recognise it? One of the best programmes I've ever made that. Don't know why I come. It's not even open. <laughs> Could have gone in for a beer, couldn't I? Anyway, that's it. I'm going back to Barnsley. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me some suggestions. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thumbs up and all that malarkey. And I'll see you next one. Helen's going to be back, uh, we're going on a trip this weekend, don't know where but it's going to be a lot nicer than Bolton, put it that way. See you then.